The building Chelsea are building. You know how I feel about Hakimi, you know, because for me, I roll with footballers. Now, people will say Hakimi defensively, all this and everything like that. Dude is a goal scorer. I've watched him do amazing things for Dortmund. Also, he's been money for Inter Milan because this is what Chelsea need. Chelsea need a flamboyant, skillful, goal-scoring, sexy, silk attacking wing-back. Or attacking football or attacking women back. Someone on the flanks. Because the only person who is with any skill and has any kind of attacking thrust is Rhys James. And Rhys James has been money. Hakimi is a whole other level. Bram is saying what's up. Because if Chelsea get this Hakimi dude, I need the treble. I'm sorry. I mean, I need that treble. <laughs> like, treble minimum. Yeah, I'll say it. Treble minimum. Treble minimum. Because the team is too good. Squad is too freaking good, man. Um... It is sad though. Shout out to my man um, Darian, my man um, Mosa, but my man Hakim, man. Um, Inter Milan fans, man. It is sad what's happening to Inter Milan, and I can't. I, I, it makes no sense because I can understand this happening with a, a Monaco, but Inter Milan is a huge club. They've won a treble. They've won a, a CL, and from winning a um, a league title. From going from winning a Scudetto to now losing your manager and now losing your, your best players, it's sick. Hence why you have to give so much credit to Lukaku who says, nah, I don't care. I'm staying. I appreciate the love you've given me. I'm not jumping ship. I'm staying. So for Lukaku, he's a real one. Lukaku is a real one. But it is what it is. But for, ha I mean, because we're beginning Hakimi to, 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 to PSG, which, you know, is then happening. But for me, look, if we're looking at this in an ob objective sense, between PSG and... um. Chelsea. I can understand why he wants to go to, go to PSG. It's Paris. It's sex. It's a lot more sassier. But my thing is, Chelsea are the UCL winners. PSG. You don't even know what happens to PSG. Pochettino, is he going to stay? Is he is he going? What's the plan there with PSG? What's the plan there with with, with Mbappe? So nothing is legit. They're like, and also, it's still a team that has no. They don't. They can't really figure themselves out. Although a huge draw is to play with Neymar and Mbappe, and I think. Hakimi will be like, Neymar and Mbappe, that's a great draw. For Chelsea, you're dealing with the UCL winners. You're dealing with a quality manager. This project is resolute. This team is, is an amazing squad. And they're looking to get Haaland as well. So, the thing with this is that I wish Hakimi was left-footed. If Hakimi was left-footed, that would just be beautiful. Because now you now have... You can now choose between Okichiwo or Hakimi there. Or Riz James and Aspilicuet on the right. Because, as of right now, what... So, what I mean... <laughs> So do you now put Rhys James in that centre-back position and then you then play um, Hakim in the right? But then whether... Because Aspilicueta has to play because he's one of Chelsea's best defenders. He has to, to, to play, but he can't play right-back. So Aspilicueta should be one of the centre-backs there. So really, I think what's going to be is that Aspilicueta moves to centre-back and you now have a situation where it's a battle between Rhys James and Hakimi. And competition is always great. For me, I think an ideal team is you have two quality players in every position. So any player knows that, no, you're just, you always have to look over your shoulder. So then it puts pressure on every player to play at an optimum level in every game. If you know that there's nobody behind you to take your, your place and is busting their balls in training, you rest on your, on your laurels and you become com complacent. So I think it is great that Hakimi can come in and say, you know what, I, Rich James, I want your spot. So Rich James is like, okay, bet. I'm not have to raise my game. But look, man, Hakim is a, I mean, I, he's a, the things I've seen this guy do, the goals I've seen this guy score, how good is he in the attacking phase? And especially when you look at teams who may want to sit in deep and Chelsea now have to now move the ball out wide, spread the, the play. This, this is a guy who will just not cross the ball. This is a guy who can carry the ball, has got good balance, has a goal scoring acumen, who can now make runs into the box. It expands Chelsea play and makes Chelsea a lot more vibrant. And I think what Tuchel wants to see is attack guys in the center, attack guys out wide, attack guys in the box. So there is their goal scoring threats in all aspects of the play. So look, man, Bram Chassin. I mean, Tuchel, you're under pressure now because the squad I'm looking at right now. The squad I'm looking at right now. I want trail. I want trotty. I want to. 
the three musketeers. I want the, want the three amigos. The three amigos. I want the three amigos. I need the three amigos, man. Because Chelsea, if Chelsea roll up next season with Haaland, Hakimi, and if Havertz balls out at these Euros and takes his game to the next level, so Havertz now comes to the season an even bigger, better player. And if Mount balls out for England, does his thing. Like the video, subscribe, click the link, Euro 2020 Fantasy League. We live.